it's also one of those questions of is that even best practice because you're not going to be seeing him for very long well other providers here i i feel as though it, it, it sort of creates a conflict of interest because I think it would be difficult for any other provider here to remain non-biased, if I'm being completely honest with you. Wait, what does that mean? Sorry. Um, non-biased, meaning like not being able to remain neutral with your case because it's like, you know, you, you've you heard about your history and we've staffed it in, in um, you know, case staffing or when you were on the ARDL and you were in PHP. And not to say they're not like for um, your care or anything, but it's, ability to remain neutral to to what's best for you so there would be there would remain what's best for my chain of command instead of what's best for the patient no not necessarily your chain of command um it, it it's more like um I, I i don't think that it's hard to remain um i i guess neutral and what's what's uh, I don't know how to frame it in a way that, because it's not really about your command. So the Air, um, the Air Force? But it's, it's like you hear, you're hearing from command and then you hear the history. And my concern is, you know, would we be able to provide you with care that wouldn't be a conflict of interest to the provider? What would that conflict uh, of interest be to the provider, though? Um, I mean... It, you can look at it from like an ethical perspective, um, like um, I, I guess in a way it's, it's it's questioning like for a provider, for instance, I'll use myself as an example. If I got to the point where I felt like I'm I'm questioning my I'm more worried about my license than I am about um the the member themselves or the the patient themselves um that would be a conflict of interest and i mainly say that cuz i know your distress in our clinic for the past year with with certain providers not everyone mm-hmm. and i don't i don't know that referring you to i mean lieutenant taylor was my best option i think um considering the staff we have here and him not being um, involved much uh, in your in your case in your care, but with him leaving now, it's like I, I think I would feel more confident in you having a new care team that doesn't have a, this history that you're able to start from scratch with that you're able to you know give your side of the story without the bias of of your command. Um, yeah. it, it, that's just my thought. If we can't do the transfer in house here.